been like, um, posted one last Saturday, so yeah, it's been over a week. So I'm, I'm thinking I should probably upload a video. Which today, guys, is not, not doing much, but it is a video, and I want to put it out there for y'all. So today, I'm going to be tying a fly, one of my favorite flies. I've caught um, multiple redfish on it. It's a shrimp fly. So you can use this size hook, which is a little bit bigger than the hook I normally use. I do not know what hooks these are. Guys, sorry, I'm not a professional fly tire. I just get my hooks. This is the size I normally use. It's a pretty small hook, as you can see. But I put this in the vise, you know, tying it down just like everybody else does. <laughs> normal fly tying video. And then I just use white thread. I know a lot of people use pink thread for saltwater shrimp patterns, but I use white. Um, I am definitely not a professional, but this is a proven fly and I do like it a lot. I don't know what I'd really call it. I guess I'd call it like, um, I don't know. Help me come up with a name for it, I guess. All right, so first, we're gonna be using bead chain. So I got um, these gold bead chain eyes, which you don't want, because this, this fly is gonna be for shallower water, like less than a foot. So you don't want to too heavy of weight on there. Like you don't want to use full, like straight up, like big no. lip. I'm just gonna tell you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need these, these legs. I really like these. Or you can use these. I like these chartreuse barred ones too. <laughs> and then for the tail section, you're gonna need um, chartreuse bucktail, or I also like using this chartreuse neck hackle. But for today's video, we're going to be using bucktail. And then I use some gold crystal flash. And then we're going to be using some shrimp eyes. Of course, you know, you got to use the shrimp eyes. So first we're going to tie in this um first we're going to tie in the the eyes of course got to tie those in Gotta wrap this. Alrighty. Gotta do these X wraps, you know, so it stays real good. And so these are pretty easy to tie, they don't take you too long. I tie game changers that will take me like 45 minutes, which is insane. Game changers take forever to tie. And obviously I'm not like some like extremely skilled tier, but I, I think I'm decent at tying. All right, so I like to grab this, this section. We're gonna do, the, and then you, Pull out those unwanted strands, and then you want to just take it back, take this thread back here, and you want to just lay this like right there, that's perfect, and you want to just wrap that, you want to tighten it, wraps, 
You want to just hold that right on the top of the hook, just like that. And you're going to take all this excess, just kind of cut it diagonally. I like to pull all this up. And then I just kind of give it some thread wraps to really wrap this all in. Nice, strong wraps. There you go. So once you got that wrapped in, you got your tail section. So obviously you're going to trim that up later, of course. So now you want to get your flash. I don't take too much. I just take like, I'm going to take like one long bit like that you want to take one put put one side on here like this on this one side so it stays and you want to take this other side And you want this, you want them to be kind of on both sides. You want to wrap it in nice and tight right there. Yeah. You want to take this other part and you want to pull it over here. And you want to wrap that nice and tight and take it back a little bit. So it kind of sticks out. You want it to kind of kind of hang out with this right here take it back even more just hold it tight against there yeah there you go just like that just to add a little bit of gold you don't want to add too much I mean if you're going for redfish anything's fine redfish love the gold and then you want to take this, these shrimp eyes, and you want to put them, I'll take two of them, two of these little shrimp eyes, alrighty. So for the shrimp eyes, you want to put them, I'll put them right here. Wrap this first one in. On this side right here. And then you want to kind of tweak it in so it sticks out. And then I'm going to snip off this tag part right here. And we're going to wrap that in good. And I'm going to kind of take this and bend it so it sticks out. So there's one of the eyes. You can put the other one in there. Give it the same nice tight wraps. You want to really hold it on there. And then again, cut that tag piece off and then wrap the rest the exposed parts and you want to just take 
I'm going to take this chartreuse. Actually, contrasting colors. Redfish really love the contrasting colors. So I'm actually going to take some of these. Take like two of them. I'm just going to rip these off right just like this. I'm going to tie these in. Take this part and pull it back around. And then you're going to take this one. Put it just like this. Wrap it. Yep, just like that. And pull that one back. And wrap this one. Perfect. And wrap that nice and good down on there. So now you have your back part of the fly done. You got the eyes, the shrimp eyes, kind of stick out. You got this back end, which we're going to cut down a little bit. And then you take, where is it? It's a brush. I got to find it. Find the brush I want to use. It's somewhere around here. I don't know where it is, though. I think I found it. Oh, do I only have this much left? If that one doesn't work. Alright, perfect. I got another piece. Alright, I got a few more of them, actually. But these brushes are about 10 bucks for a whole pack of them, and it comes with like 8 brushes. And 8 brushes can make a ton of flies if you don't know. So then you're going to take this part. I actually like to cut this excess it off like that and you take it and you tie it in to the back of this fly And you just want to tie it in pretty tight. And then take this thread up to the top. And then you just want to pull all these strands back. And then wrap. And then kind of just pull while you're wrapping. You just want to make just forward wraps. Take this brush all the way forward. You just want to take this and then just kind of pull it back while you're wrapping it forward. It just lays down nice and evenly throughout the whole fly. And then you take this back over. over the brush and then kind of make some hard nice nice and hard wraps I just give it like one or two and I take it back to the head and then I'll snip off this excess
and then I'll just wrap this nice and good. And then I'll take my tool, if I can find it. Yeah, I'll take my finishing tool. Now that's done. Now I just take this excess thread up. And I'll cut this loose thread. And now I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of this fly finish. I'm gonna use the flow. I just put a dab right there and a dab under so that thread doesn't come loose with just a few fish so this fly lasts a little bit longer and then we're going to trim it and I'll show you the end result Now we're going to take, where's my little, got a tool, I might just use these scissors, but I do have a tool to kind of pull all these loose threads out. I don't know where that tool is, but I know I have one in here. Found it. All right, perfect. So it's just this little picky thing. And I just kind of go through this fly and just pull out these strands because they kind of get wrapped under each other and all that. You want to just pull them out. Pull them out, brush them out, whatever you want to do. And I like to just trim off some of this because this brush is a little long. And we're going to take this, and we're going to kind of cut these, like, off pieces. And you want to kind of make it, you want to taper it down, pretty much. And then I'm going to get it wet, because I like to get them wet and let them dry wet. I'm going to cut this silicone just a little bit. All right. I'll be right back. And there is your finished product. It is, it's going to sit, hit the water like that. It's in the water, these silicone legs are going to flutter, you know. Bucktail does what it does. And all in all, great fly. A chartreuse tail draws more attention than anything else. 
I just love it. So yeah, definitely use this fly. Would highly recommend tying it. Don't know if they sell any flies like this. I just kind of came up with this myself by watching other people tie flies and just coming up with my own idea based on other people's ideas. So I don't know what to call this. I guess the just call it the I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue, guys. All right, so um. That's the fly, so um, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.